Hello there YouTube, this is Apple Stuffs here giving another tutorial today about the iTunes movie library. And here we go. So first what you're going to do is open iTunes. And here we are already in our iTunes movie library. In my previous video I already went over what the music library is right here and the rever uh the rewind, play, fast forward function, the volume function, all of these different views this whole bar up here and what the songs are, what you do with them, how you get them, all that stuff. All of that stuffs, get it? Apple stuffs. <laughs> all of that stuffs is in the previous video. So, let's get started with the movies. So here I have one of the uh, recent Jackass movies, Jackass 3D, pardon my language. Probably should have chosen a different video for that reason, but that's okay. Um, this video I had in my house, and what I did was I ripped the DVD, which is legal apparently, so I'm glad about that. So yes, I did this legally. Um, now, what we can do with this, it, see, this is very basic compared to the music one, because that gets a little more confusing because the files are smaller, but because this file is so big, that says down here, one movie, 1 1.6 hours, 400 megabytes. That's a lot of space to take up on an iPod. And by the way, you can only do this on the iPod Touch or the recent iPod Nano, I believe. Uh, not the recent iPod Nano, the one before that, where you can watch videos. They took away that function. You can also view it on the iPad or iPhone. Um, but it's a movie. Okay. So in order to view the movie on your computer, all you need to do, this is on Windows or Mac, is double click on it and it'll pop up like that. Okay, so it's playing right now. I'm not really focusing on the movie, and I hope that you aren't. It's Somehow it's already in here. Oh, look, these. So let me show you this bar. This happens in a, a video podcast as well, which I will get to later. Um, here we have the volume function, just like up here. You can make it louder or softer or louder. Oh, look at that. It corresponds with what it is on up there. Okay. Um, here is the rewind function. That will rewind to the... Oh, was not expecting that. I guess that will fast forward or rewind your movie um, to a previous movie or the following movie. So this one will rewind it. This one will go back a movie. This one will go forward a movie. This one will rewind the, the movie in steps. See that? It's going back in time. Back to the bees. This is the pause, play pause function. And this is the fast forward function. Oh, jeez. Wow. Okay. So I pause it again because it's taking up a lot of space as I play this. And this is the full screen function. To make it in full screen, you just click on that. Look at that, full screen, beautiful. Okay, except the bottom's a little cut off. Weird. So then we're going to make it... Um, you can do two things to get rid of this. You can either click here on this uh, these arrows that go back in like that, or you can click up here at that X, and it'll make it just big in the iTunes screen. And now if you're stuck here, all you need to do is... You can't click down here because that'll just make it bigger. All you need to do is hit this X up top, and it'll X out. So that's how you view, view the movie. I will show you eventually how to put this, as well as music, as well as TV shows, and podcasts, and apps, and everything, how to put all of that onto the actual iPod. That will be later on once I go over everything. So yeah, very simple. Um, this, again, you have the same function, same views up here. That sort of does it by title, because there is no album. Um, you can organize it all... Uh, you can rate it on stars, you can enter the year here, um, you can put in the type of movie, I don't even know what you would call this movie. Um, yeah, that is it. So thank you for watching this Apple Stuff tutorial. This is Apple Stuff's here, signing out.